Across the Afghan capital, evidence of the country's dwindling economy is everywhere. From unemployed daily wage laborers to the heaps of household goods that have emerged on corners and empty lots. This is Choke Joda, a busy thoroughfare in downtown Kabul, where people have brought their household things to sell. Among the products on sale at the second-hand goods market are household items including carpets, sofa sets, kitchen utensils, used rugs and washing machines. Many Afghans were already struggling to feed their families well before the Taliban seized power. Aid agencies fear millions may face starvation with the country isolated and the economy unraveling. These are very poor people. They are selling their things to make their ends meet. They have to eat. They have to pay their bills. Those Afghans who had the money and the means fled the country, and those left behind now struggle to earn their livelihood. 65-year-old Haji Allah Muhammad has brought the last of his belongings, hoping to get a good bargain. We're selling our things because we don't know where the next meal will come from. The economy of the country is already battling drought and the ravages of a conflict that killed an estimated 240,000 Afghans. Mohammed is worried about the fast approaching winter. There are people here who have sold their things to me to resell because they want to run away from this country. Poverty is rising, winter is near, and we need to buy firewood. Humanitarian organizations have warned of a potential catastrophe as the economy that has relied on millions of dollars of foreign aid is close to collapse. In a recently published report, the UN has warned that more than 97% of Afghanistan's population could fall below the poverty line by mid-2022, as 40% of Afghanistan's GDP came from international aid for the past 20 years. And as many countries refuse to recognize the Taliban's government, experts have warned the country is rapidly moving towards an economic disaster. Daniel Khan, CGTN Kabul, Afghanistan.